Okay, before we put our mat back together, we're going to put these nuts back on our cup holders because we're done with those. Remember that was the 10 millimeter socket. So we've got our plethora of plugs. Have to remember, I'm pretty sure that these were plugs. And we're ready for our mat. Pedals in. Okay, so right down here, there's going to be a little crack between the panels there. So that's where we're running our wire. See that? We've got plenty of extra so we can pull it out and solder. Got it all ran under the front. So let's get the bumper back on. All right, so we've got the bumper. Let's get this dash back on. And we know how to do that because we've done it a few times, right? But for those who haven't seen, we will show you again. Basically, just how we took it off. So this time, we're gonna have our switch to put on as well, along with our battery meter, and along with our key. All right, so now we're gonna plug our items back in, starting with our new switch. So we've got the power continuous, and we've got our amplifier, so we've got up, on, Perfect. Okay. So now we've got our key switch and our state of charge meter. So let's get these plugged in. So start with the key switch. And remember we're on toe position whenever we mess with, with uh, the dash. Or quite frankly, any electronics, even though we're not connecting to this battery. Then we've got our state of charge meter. Okay, we're good, 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 good. Let's get our mats back in place. Okay, we've got our area where our wires are gonna pop out. Are we good? I think we're good. Push, push back, okay. Let's push this clip in. Let's get our wires out of here. And we're in. Okay, so we've got our wires cleared for us. We've got our dash clipped in. So next step, we will put our dash bolts back in. So on the dash, if we remember, I think there's four three, four. One little handy item to get is a little bowl to put all your, your nuts and, and screws in. Remember these ones go into plastic, so you want to be gentle, because you don't want to strip out your bumper plastic, because that would be bad. No one wants to buy a new bumper because they stripped it. So we're going to get them tight, and then we're going to hand tighten them. Edges first because we can actually hold the bumper up with the holes with our hands. I'm gonna grab my Klein, my 11 in one. That thing has done a lot of work. So, Pretty tight on that one. Tight on that one. 
It's really tough to tell with the plastic. You don't know if you're stripping it or not. But I think the last one, we've got a little slack. These little plugs in first so we're done. Ooh, got a lot of them. Okay, I think there was a short one for this guy. And we've got one for the middle here. Get a get a hammer. That'll do her. So I believe it's another short one for up here. That's a finger pusher, okay. Then we've got some next to the pedals. Two between the pedals. Those ones are easy. And then one behind the brake, okay. Okay, before we mount these speakers in, I'm gonna take this guy out, clean him with. We're going to drill a 1 16th hole. In each of these holes, besides this one. So, we can mount it. So, so let's do that first. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Okay. So we've got those holes drilled. So let's move to the other side. Drill those holes. Then we'll mount the speakers and then we'll screw the speaker pods on. And then we'll jam out. Because I think this has been the longest. Longest video I've done so far, so we need to relax and enjoy it. Wish it wasn't raining, because if it if it wasn't, I would go out for a ride. We're going to pull our soldering iron back out. I'm going to show you one side because it's the same on both, so. No sense in adding more time to this video. Okay, so anything we want through the hole has to go in now. So we want our gasket, and that's it. We don't want much in life, we just want a gasket. I'm gonna leave some extra speaker wire in there, just in case for now. But if it rattles or anything like that, fairly easy to um, just take it out. Remember our plain white is positive, and our white black is negative. Okay, so let's solder these. Actually glad we have some extra wire because we need the length to solder. Okay. We're soldered. I guess where are we now? We are drilling the speakers on. Let's drill our holes. Okay, we've got our four holes drilled. So now let's pull this off. Put our speaker drill. And let's throw one of our screws through. Okay, let's get a few started. And then we'll come back and put the those rear speaker or the rear holders on. See what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this right on the back. Hold it there. 
while I screw. It's just another, another precaution. Okay, we're tight. I didn't want to strip it and just connect to it, so, so we're tight on the plastic and we're screwed tight on the rear holders. Okay, so we have all four in. We've got a little extra wire, but that should be fine. Might come back and pull it out through, through the hood, but I just wanna see what these sound like tonight, so. We'll kinda of wrap it up so it's easy to unravel. Okay, so we've got our screws. Let's get these in. We're gonna go ahead and hand tighten these. I just don't wanna crack any plastic. Okay. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all, but I'll, I'll leave it zoomed in. Up there. So we're looking looking pretty snazzy. So let's get our kick panel, rest of our kick panel back on. Okay, here's the test. Will this one go in properly? There's a little gap. Little gap. But She'll do. She'll do. And we're good. We're on on this side, so let's crank her up. Got one speaker. That's how you do it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the other speaker on. Looks very nice. I love the look of these Polk speakers. Very clean, doesn't get in the way of the brake pedal. I'll get the other one on and I'll shoot a shot of it and then we're gonna play. Okay, so we're done. So we've got the speakers installed, very clean. We've got a switch that can switch them off and on. Don't have to have the key in. We're not gonna waste any battery. Oh, there we go. So we've got the battery down there and that'll work perfect for when I install headlights. I'll have a separate 12 volt battery, I'll be able to charge it. This works great. Anyways, uh, if you liked any of these items, make sure to check them out on the links below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. We've got a lot more coming. This golf cart is not the end of it. So thanks for watching.